everyone welcome back to another episode of sip and review my name is Chantel, and today i will be doing a recap on black ink crew season 9 episode 3 please subscribe to my channel hit the bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and share this video also like this video by giving it a thumbs up also you may follow me on instagram and the link to my instagram is in the description below let's get started so the episode opens up with tati tati said that she is doing everything to keep a roof over her family's head her cousins live with her because their mother passed away tati and her niece created a task board that she painted on her wall in she said that she was creating the board to keep her household organized and she did not want to mess up at black and crew because caesar gave her her job back so she also wants to use that board to write down any events that black and crew have so and she also said that she learned from her mistakes and she don't want her cousins to make the same mistakes that she made in the past and tati was talking to her niece and her niece you know and her nephew they wanted to invite people over to the home and she said no one is invited to her house with it looking a mess because they need to work on keeping things clean moving on donna is hosting a couple's dinner party at her home tonight and Chris was there. This guy named Chris. They said that he's Donna and Alex's friend. I believe this is our first time seeing him on the show. So, of course, Tati was already there helping Donna cook the food. And Tati showed the video to Donna and Alex. And they said the man in the video doesn't look like Walt. Donna said that they stereotype every black man. And I will have to say that Donna is right. You know, I will have to agree with her on that part that just don't know what's going on with Walt. And also, they do stereotype black men often. Moving on. So we get to Walt. Walt told just that. It wasn't him on the video, and he admitted to taking money from the register once. So, you know, this is Walt's first time telling Jess anything about what happened because she had no idea of what was going on at his job. So, Walt said that he had his lift receipts to prove that he was at home during the time of the break-in. Walt insists that he only took money out of the register and he said that he had planned on putting it back but he did not go back and rob them so we get to rock and crystal you know they are an item now and he told crystal that he can see a future with her and he wants to take care of her so you know they were discussing whether or not they wanted to tell everyone about their relationship so we get back to donna's couple's dinner Teddy arrived first in after Tati, of course, and he didn't bring his girlfriend because he didn't want the crew to tell her about his thotting days. Because you know Teddy was messing with anything with a split, honey. So he did not want her to know that side of him. He wasn't ready to introduce that to her. So Rock and Crystal, they arrived at the party and they walked in holding hands so at that point everyone knew that the rumors were true and so they let everyone know that they are a couple and who was there a spider i believe that's his name he's a new tattoo artist he bought his girlfriend desiree with him and puma and his wife showed up of course and caesar was there as well but he did not bring his girlfriend suzette because she's a real estate agent he said that she had to work so she could not make it 
Donna told everyone that she wanted Walt to come, but she uninvited him at the couple's dinner because Caesar was there and Ted, and she just didn't want any drama. So, Puma said that after talking to Walt, he was upset because Walt used child support as an excuse for why he stole the money. Donna said that Walt is living outside of his means, and she believed that's why he is short on cash. And y'all, I think Donna found her calling, cooking, not tattooing. Everyone said the food was excellent. So, and you can tell that she really enjoys cooking, so that just might be for Donna instead of the tattooing. So we get to Young Bay. Young Bay announced that she did have plastic surgery and she said that she loved her new body. She said after the having having the baby, she was not feeling confident about her body. And she was just happy to pretty much get her snatch back after having her plastic surgery. So we get to Tati and the crew. Everyone was hosting another Kara's events for blacking crew and they were giving out winter clothing to the people in the community and yes you know how cold it be in new york so it was freezing outside and that was very nice of them to hand out coats and hats and you know everything to keep the people warm during the winter months and caesar did point out the fact that donna and alex didn't come and he also said, you know, they were also saying that Donna is always talking about they never support her and they think that she does. And they went to her couples event and they would have liked to see her at their event as well. So Young Bay came to show off her new body. She was there. She told Caesar that now that she got everything straight, you know, her body's looking right, she wanted to come back to work, and she also said that Teddy and her are very close, so they talk a lot, and Teddy already knew what was up, the reason why, you know, she wanted to take some time off before coming back to work. So, Young Bay got that, she jumped right in, and she started helping out. So, that was great to see that she's back on the team. Caesar said that he is not quite ready yet to give Tati the manager's position back until he knows for sure that she has changed her violent behavior. You know, they were showing clips of Tati's past to, you know, help us understand why he's not sure if she's not going to be drinking, partying, fighting. You know, she gets really violent when she drinks and we get to Jess so I feel like she must have been really embarrassed you know that she had to go up there and talk to C's and to apologize for her husband stealing okay I know she was mad with Walt shaking my head so Jess asked to see the video and Caesar showed her the video, Jess said that that's not Walt. And Donna said the same thing too. Jess said that Walt is Bow Lake, so that is not her husband. Okay, so Caesar told Jess that he's done with Walt and he is no longer welcome back at Black and Black and Crew. He cannot forgive him for stealing from him because although that was not him on the video, he did admit to stealing money from the register. Moving on, Jess invited Donna and Alex over to their home. I just think that Walt should have talked to someone before stealing from C's. At least he should have confided in his wife. And there are other things that he could have done. He could have asked C's for a payday loan. You know, he could have had C's take the money back from his next paycheck that he borrowed you know it's that simple shaking my head 
Donald told Walt that Caesar don't have his back like he have their back. Yeah, it is true that Walt has been there since day one, but the bottom line is that he chose to steal from Caesar instead of letting Caesar know what was going on. You should have asked him. At the end of the day, although you work for Caesar, that is still Black and Crew's money, okay? That is his company's money, and an employee should not be stealing from his employer therefore you violated the company's policy that's why i see to say he is done with you and you know i don't know if walt is going to still be on the show they may let him continue to play out this season but on next season we most likely won't be seeing walt on the season because you know when they got rid of previous cast members we did not see them anymore and no one made him do that i feel like walt made a poor decision and i think walt took money out of the register many times before without getting caught until now so walt had to have been taking money out of the register and like he said he thought he had time to put the money right back okay so he did not have time whatever you do in the dark always comes to light period so guys that is the end of my commentary recap on black and crew season nine episode three do not forget to check out my website at sippingreview.com please check out my blogs also my sip and review podcast everything is on my website at sipandreview.com thank you for listening do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and you all have a blessed day bye now